Son in here and today I would like to show you my review of Power of the Primes Grimlock. As you can see, this is the this is one of the newer Power of the Primes toys, as I said earlier. And unlike the Diaclone or should I say Generation 1 Ironhide review, which was my earlier review. Ooh, ooh. And I have to say I was hit, trying to hit 10 subscribers. I also have an Instagram. I'm called London Brosen 46, so you can follow me there. But I hit a nine followers right, instead of the one subscriber I originally had. The one subscriber. And I want to hit 10 subscribers and 10 followers so I can make a super er, 20. 20 fans and 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 video by reviewing the impossible toys wops so i'm trying i'm gonna pick this i'm gonna pick that figure up maybe gonna get a review i'm actually gonna get so so now let's go back to grimlock as you can see very accurate to the g1 cartoon unlike Sorry for the, sorry for the, sorry for the, sorry for my, my very poor camera holder upper. So, so, head sculpt, let's take a look at the head sculpt. You can see it's a pretty good, very ge generation one accurate to the toys and comics and cartoon. So, now... And now we're going to go into articulation. And so we're going to lift. So there's a ratcheting arm, a bend, and a swivel here. <laughs> swivel here. Here. And universal joint at the thigh. And a swivel here and a bend, so you can make a, a, like a pretzel, or like I did. I I think I hoped you like it. Now for size comparisons, and I rarely have any figures that are actually complete. So here is is Generation One Ironhide, which have you seen my review? I I showed Power of the Primes Grimlock, and I can, re and I said I can review this figure if you want me to. But I'm gonna review, and after this, I'm gonna review tomorrow. I'm gonna review um, Gobot's Copter. So, and and my next review spoilers. Here's the 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 1980 the 1980s Gobot Copter. I can review this figure if you want me to, and I forgot to make it into robot mode. Here we go. Okay, so now we got Gobot, Cop, Tor, and Ironhide right out of the way. Okay. Let's go on to transformation, which is really simple. Now, this is probably what you wanted the Dinobots to do for decades. It's... it's almost feeling like centuries He's, and and what you wanted was probably the down of the bot to form a combiner. I already had my dream with the Beast Within which I'm trying to pick up that comic. Gonna read it. It's it's wisely this down but I what I've seen it looked it quite good actually. I can and understand every world I You're gonna die Optimus said Bumblebee or for the beast, which is a, basically a mashup of Dinobot Commander to make a like that kaiju from Pacific Rim Uprising, which looks a lot more disgusting than than the than the beast. So let's now let's go on to the transformation to T Rex mode. So you first you peg in the legs and you fold down the the pieces of the tail. And there you have the tail. I what I like to do is lift this up 
this back panel, and I forgot to mention the kibble of its combined mode, as in the crotch and the uh, and the head and and the head and back arm plates for the for the for the for the com for the T Rex arms, and you fold these hands up. Up, and I forgot to mention that's kibble. You probably know what kibble is, but I'll mention kibble in the com. I'll mention kibble, and you can see the word kibble in the description box below. So you have to fold down the arm. So you have to fold down the 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 body parts. You, I I like to uh, fold collapse the tail up and you fold down the back the crotch plate again for the combiner you fold the t-rex head down you fold the combiner head down and you fold up the arms so you can snap them into place and here we have grimlock in t-rex mode so as you can see it's a very uh, very 1980s yada 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 inaccurate posture any signs, any YouTube channels like Trady Explainer, please don't hate me. Please. This kind of reminds me of Power Rangers and that head sculpt. It kind of looks like a kitty because of the that li those lines down the face. It kind of looks like a kitty cat. Now, now, now that. Size comparisons, iron hide, and cop, and cop tour. I'm missing the rotor or on the on cop tour, and and I'm and I don't have that much time to get the back part. But anyways, I'm actually can. So here I am back with the with the back piece. East, and there it is. So there is the there is the iron hide. There there is the complete generation one iron hide. Now we're gonna move these off to the side so we can get into the torso mode for Volcanicus. Yes, I know I want to be called Dino King because of Transformers Victory. Sorry again for the poor cameraman. So in order to transform this, you have to. Partially turn it back into a uh, robot mode, so you have to fold. So you have to fold these up, and you have to, and you have to fold these up out, and 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 I'm gonna fold these down, and you and. And to fold down these um, arm arms, and you peg in the you peg in the these little tabs into this this little hole right here. So you make sure to get them aligned, and you can peg it in. So I'm sorry because I can't aligned it properly. There we go. There we go. And you have to fold down the head and you have to disseparate dislocate the torso and you peg it in and you fold up the volcanicus head. Now and I'm gonna get a glimpse. So here I have the volcanicus head, very samurai esque. So when I pick up the other um, combine the other parts of Volcanicus, I'm gonna make a review of the Vol Volcanicus. This, and I might also pick up all the other line lines characters, just so I can make my Power of the Primes combiner collection. And but back in like 2015, I was a big fan of combiner boards. I want it to not end, but because of their introducing new toys, 
eyes I the guy they got Titans return and here's what we have to the closest thing of Combiner Wars Reborn. So here we have the torso mode as I like to do it. I like it to make I like it to make it like this to make it more fleshed out but, or you can straighten out the legs but that just looks like Grimlock has been eating way too much a ch a ch veggies and it all went up to his upper torso so I like to do it like this now if I had a complete set I would show it but for now here's what all we got a very nice torso by the way so I highly recommend this figure to anybody who's a big fan of the generation 1 cartoon like I said with my iron hide or if you if, or if you just little bastards who's gonna who's going to sell them for a lot of price and I'm and bastard is a swear word I'm sorry because I'm 10 years old 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 so and now let's do another and now let's do our last last size comparison generation one ironhide and Robots copter and again and finally sorry again for the poor cameraman I hope you enjoy and make sure to say oh hello there